very competitive. It is, Lori. And for students over at Friendswood High School, the feeling was maybe that competition, class rank, got in the way of what actually mattered. The students said to us, we need to look at class rank. They felt like class rank was getting in the way of individual students' success. Thus sparked a six-month study driven by a question. Does class rank help or hinder Friendswood High School students during the college admissions process? The first statistic that we found was that right over 50% of high performing school districts across the nation have done away with class rank. The consensus? Class rank did more harm than good. Some of their argument, class rank may not reflect academic achievement. The calculations are arbitrary. I mean, a slight difference between GPAs could seem much larger when ranked by a percentage point. That's all well and good, but the decision doesn't affect those in the top 10 percentile. Why, you ask? Top 10% must be in the state of Texas reported due to state law. I think it can work. It can work for and against. Still, folks we spoke to were split. Yeah. Doesn't a ranking work as an incentive to try harder? If it's going to help them to do better, then you keep it. But if it's making the kids feel like they hindered, then you, you take it away which is what the Board of Trustees decided unanimously. That is, except for the top 10%. I think what's, what's true for the lamb is true for the flock, right? Back here live, a bit of a technical error at the top. What I was saying was behind this decision was the idea to get colleges to look at the more complete student, less on GPA and ranking, more on extracurricular activities, other things to make the student more well-rounded. And that's the goal behind this. There's more behind the research, and here it is. We've got it for you on our website, click2houston.com tonight on this, as a lot of people in Friendswood are talking. Live in Friendswood, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.